Sailing across the bay may become more environmentally friendly if a new kind of ferryboat catches on. It's called a solar sailor, using the sun and the wind as well as diesel fuel. And the two have already, two of them have already been ordered to ferry tourists to Alcatraz Island. Consumer editor Tom Vacar reports. As he does every day, Glenn Meisenheimer commuted on the ferry serving Oakland and San Francisco. He was happy to learn that in about a year and a half, a new generation of ferries, solar sailors, will begin appearing on the bay. I think a solar panel ferry uh, that, that employs wind power would be a very attractive thing. Now this is a model of the 600 passenger solar sailor. It works on the same principle as a hybrid car, using a battery powered electric motor and sail for low speeds, switching to a more traditional but highly advanced diesel engine for high speeds. Up to about 8 knots, it's, it's electric battery and supplementing that with uh, solar. Once you want to go faster than that, yes, you do have to uh, burn fossil fuel. Using the, uh, the hybrid technology, you would save, depending on the run, somewhere between 50 to 60 percent of the fuel. And this is no pie in the sky. This working 100-passenger hybrid has been successfully plying Australia's Sydney Harbour for five years now. The Bay Area version will have an even more sophisticated system to take advantage of the often windswept bay. The solar panel can act as a sail and through computers adjust to the sun and the wind. Some Bay Area environmentalists, often critical of the current fleet of smoky diesel-powered ferries, say this makes even more sense as fossil fuel prices climb. It's a huge difference in terms of, of the emissions and in the amount of fuel that you're going to be using. At about five million dollars each, a solar sailor will cost a million and a half dollars more than one of the current generation of ferries. On the current price of marine diesel, that payback period for that one and a half million dollar extra cost is now about three and a half years. Far better fuel economy, far less pollution. So it's a win-win all around. Besides its solar panels, the ferry will be plugged into shore power every night to assure adequate battery power during the day. PG&E says there's a big advantage to that. It's a wonderful economic driver when you're going to pay six times less at night to charge your plug-in hybrid, your electric vehicle, your solar sailor. With a limited number of ferries and ferry docks currently on the bay, this is still a fairly exotic commute. But with this new technology coming online, more and more folks are apt to try it. And experts say more and more folks are apt to make it a permanent thing. I'm Consumer Editor Tom Vacar, KTVU Channel 2 News.